Do you like to add a little zing to your food? If yes, your taste buds are going to love this. Howdy, bestie viewers. Chili is a widely used spice in a variety of cuisines. In addition to delivering an extra punch, there are several advantages to putting more spice in your food. While some people can stand the scorching heat of chilies, others run to the fridge and grab a milk carton. If the latter part is the case for you, it's probably wise to stay away from Carolina Reapers. That's what we're going to be talking about today. First things first, what is a Carolina Reaper? The extremely fiery Carolina Reaper chili pepper is nurtured from the capsicum Chinese plant species. It gets its name from its tiny, sharp tail, which resembles the sickle of a grim reaper. Even a small quantity of this spicy pepper goes a long way. But wait, do you know about the origin of this blazing chili? Also known as the HP22B pepper, the Carolina Reaper was bred by Ed Curry, an American chili pepper breeder and proprietor of the Puckerbutt Pepper Company. A simple cross hybrid between a ghost pepper and a red habanero produced this. It was bred and tested at Winthrop University in South Carolina, with a peak Scoville heat count of over 2.2 million. Interestingly, by 2013, seven generations of the plant had already grown in Ed Curry's South Carolina greenhouse. Have you ever seen a Carolina Reaper pepper? No? Well, here's a glimpse. The Carolina Reaper is rather petite in size, with a width of 1 to 2 inches and a length of 2 to 3. The scorpion's tail, which is strongly defined in this pepper, is a trait shared by many exceptionally spicy chilies. Some Reaper pepper pods also have terrible lumps all over them, while other pods have smoother skin. The nasty fruit comes in a variety of colors including red, yellow, peach, and chocolate. Although not every fruit will include the dreaded stinger, most pods will. If you plan on adding Carolina Reaper to your favorite dishes, the oily sheen and spiky lumps may be a warning that you need. We're sure by now you have a clear picture of this devilish chili, but what about its taste? Normally, super hot peppers have bitter chemicals. Most of the time, capsaicin can be tasted, but this isn't the case with the Carolina Reaper. While the Carolina Reaper is known for being the hottest chili pepper on the planet, it also has an unexpected sweetness to it. This makes it perfect for amplifying the heat in your meals, right? Well, it depends on how much spice you handle. Those who have tried often compare eating a Carolina Reaper to swallowing lava. The chili gives your tongue a fruity sweet hint before the severe heat kicks in. One pepper has enough to season hundreds of meals. It tastes best in stir fries and marinades. Despite being this intense, Carolina Reaper doesn't take away from the taste of the original meal. Almost all chili peppers pack heat. So, what's so special about the Carolina Reaper? The Carolina Reaper is anything but ordinary. It was developed specifically for heat. The Scoville rating of the Carolina Reaper is so high, it's outperformed other peppers twice in the previous decade. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, it's the hottest pepper on the planet. Hot enough to inflict contact burns, so needless to say, it's important to handle the pepper with caution. The intensity of the Reaper ranges from 1.4 million Scoville heat units to a scorching 2.2 million Scoville heat units, making it the fiercest chili pepper in the world. Sound bizarre? Well, the numbers make the Carolina Reaper up to 880 times hotter than the regular jalapeno pepper, which has a rating of around 5,000. If you like super hot peppers, you may have heard about the ghost pepper, also known as the Bujalikia in India. These peppers have an average of 950,000 Scoville heat units, making Carolina Reaper nearly twice as spicy. The crazy thing is that some people actually seek out Carolina Reaper to compete in chili eating competitions. That's got to be one rough trip to the bathroom afterwards. Oh, wait, do you even know what Scoville heat units are and where they come from? Let's address this question quickly. Have you ever wondered how spicy your peppers are? This is where the Scoville scale comes in. 
Wilbur L. Scoville established the Scoville Organoleptic Test in 1912 while looking for a suitable pepper to use in a heat-producing ointment. The scale is used to determine the quantity of capsaicin in peppers. This is the chemical ingredient that gives the chilies their heat. Capsaicin is the compound that causes your tongue to burn, your body to sweat, and your ears to hurt after eating a pepper. It's not only chili peppers. Other plants that generate spicy hot compounds are also measured using the Scoville test. Scoville heat units are a measurement of how many times capsaicin must be diluted in sugar water. Basically, the hotter the pepper, the higher the rating. So, what happens to your body when you take a bite of this fiery pepper? Whether you enjoy the heat or not, one thing is certain. The hotter the spice, the greater the pain. Chili peppers aren't exactly new. What is new is their popularity. It seems like everywhere you go these days, people are adding it to their food. Every restaurant you visit has their own type of special house-made spice. They even sell Carolina Reaper sauce so intense it'll have you running to the bathroom after just two chicken wings. But how exactly does this happen? When you bite into a reaper, the capsaicin skips your taste buds in your mouth and binds to the pain receptors on your tongue. The spiciness is a mixture of pain and heat caused by the chemical response between capsaicin and sensory neurons. It's capsaicin that tricks your brain into believing that your body's temperature has changed. Each breath makes you feel like a human flamethrower. Even though the spice isn't actually burning you, the brain receives the same signals and reacts as if you were. As a result, the body will attempt to cool off. When you eat a Carolina Reaper, you may start panting and feel bullets of sweat pouring down your forehead. Your body will try to expel the burning sensation by increasing the production of saliva, mucus, and tears, in addition to cooling things down. As soon as you swallow the pepper, it might activate more pain receptors in your membrane, causing a burning feeling in your chest. This is not the same as heartburn, but it may feel similar. However, the feeling is just fleeting and it won't actually burn you. The heat from Carolina Reapers also impacts your lungs and creates hiccups as it travels down to the stomach. Hiccups are involuntary spasms of the diaphragm caused by irritation due to capsaicin. Moving ahead, capsaicin stimulates the development of gastrointestinal mucus and speeds up metabolism when it reaches the stomach. You may experience pain or cramping when your stomach struggles to digest the chili, but it won't harm you. Also, capsaicin causes a response in the intestines, speeding up the digestion process. This can be beneficial if you're consuming something that takes longer to digest, but it also has the potential to speed things up a little too quickly. So, how safe is it to eat the world's hottest chili pepper? I wouldn't worry. If you eat them in moderation, super hot peppers like the Carolina Reaper are very safe. In fact, eating spicy peppers has a ton of health advantages. On the one hand, they've been shown to improve your heart health and reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease. There's also some evidence that shows that it can prevent diabetes as well as certain types of cancer. A lot of people out there eat peppers like Carolina Reapers just to compete in online competitions and demonstrate their spice tolerance. But before you go down this road, you should ask yourself, how hot is too hot? The devilish reaper can cause major harm if eaten in large quantities, but your body may not allow this. You'd have to keep eating it past the point of sweating, shivering, vomiting, and perhaps passing out. As a result, it's safe to assume that the heat from the Carolina Reaper won't kill you. Perhaps you've heard horror stories of individuals getting hurt while competing in hot pepper contests. This serves as a warning for people on the fence about trying it. There's no need to be concerned as these instances are not only extremely unusual, but also associated with pre-existing health conditions. With all these details, it's only logical to discuss how you can include Carolina Reaper in your meals. When trying spicy recipes, the Carolina Reaper can be used, but be careful not to overdo it. When dealing with the Reaper in the kitchen, you should wear gloves for your safety and comfort. Whatever you do, don't touch your eyes while cooking with a Carolina Reaper, at least not until you've fully cleaned your hands. The Carolina Reaper fits into the recipes of so many delicious foods. Maybe use them to make your own spicy sauce. 
Or how does peppery jelly sound? Carolina Reaper is everything you'll need to spice up soups, stews, and chilies. You can dry and grind Carolina Reapers into powder form and add heat to your Thai, Mexican, or Indian cuisine. All you need is a pinch. The Carolina Reaper sweetness will only lend itself to the flavor of your meal. Spice isn't for everyone. It doesn't matter how mild it is. While some people are scared to even touch it, others need to slowly ease into it. And after a while, they'll put it on every meal. If you're interested, you can grow your own Carolina Reapers in your home. The plants survive for 10 years, even more. If heat is what grabs your attention, here's what else you might like. Check out five hidden health benefits of spicy foods you need to know. Or how about 15 health benefits of black pepper you need to know about? Go ahead, select one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how spice can help you. Have you ever tried Carolina Reaper? How was your experience? Let us know in the comment section below.